So here's the box of the new GTX 1660 Ti. We are going to proceed with the unboxing right now. So uh, let's put it aside. Here is the internal box. Um, it's uh, just a paper box and uh, inside you can find some foam padding on the top of the card which is 3, 2, 1. Here it is! A small card indeed. Uh, let's see. This is the model with a uh, one fan. Uh, I've seen some uh, photos of uh, models with double fans. So I guess uh, there should be uh, also models like that. The one we got is uh, Gainward 1660 Ti. And uh, here is the cart it itself. And it's more, it's a bit white. Um, as you can see it needs uh, just uh, one 8 pin adapter it has uh, four the total of four uh, heat pipes on uh, both of the sides of the core we have uh, display port HDMI and uh, DVI ports here's the top of the card just G4 GTX text nothing else and that uh, particular 8 pin adapter which means it most likely is about 120 watts uh, TDP so yeah this is the card guys that's it let's move to testing Where to next then? Let's go this way. Zip line deployed. Supply bin here. Shield cell, hemlock here. Might be something good this way.
defeated the whole squad.
Our test showed that the new 1660 Ti is just uh, a little bit ahead of 1017 Shadows of Tomb Raider and it falls behind in Fortnite again with a little bit. Uh, in the other games it's on par with the 1070 so uh, basically it's uh, almost the same as 1070 but with a lower price. Uh, the new 1660 Ti is between 10 and 20 percent weaker than the 2060 average about 14 percent which is uh, noticeable when you play uh, given the price difference about 25 percent it's still quite a good buy with uh, the RX 590 which is uh, almost at the same price the uh, advantage is the whole 20 percent which is quite a lot the new 1660 ti is also uh, quite good on power and uh, it's the most economic card between the uh, other cards which are with uh, similar performance Although our model was an ITX model with just one fan, the temperatures are also quite good. 